women's members of council. The task of obtaining consensus among the 15 women members of council currently rests with Councillor Pam McConnell. Lucky Pam. To give some background to this award and introduce the recipient, please welcome Councillor Pam McConnell. My women uh, colleagues would uh, join me. Janet, I don't know if uh, Karen is still here. Uh, I think it's important uh, to recognize that this is done uh, by all of us together. And it gives you an idea of how important um, the person is because they got a consensus of 15 of us. Um, in uh, 1979, on the occasion of the 50th anniversary of the person's case, uh, the Toronto, uh, uh, sorry, of the person's case, the women members of Toronto City Council recommended the establishment of an award to recognize the efforts to improve social, economic, and political status of our women in Toronto. The award was named after the first woman that was elected to a <coughs> municipal council in Toronto, and it was in 1920. Her name was Constance Hamilton. Constance E. Hamilton. I can't imagine what her life was like. She was an advocate for social justice and for women's suffragette. She probably was quite alone in believing uh, in further, uh, uh, in, I believe, in furthering the work of our Constance Hamilton, along with 14 other women members of council. Um, I've been actively involved in encouraging young women uh, to become active in our local politics. We need someone uh, behind us, my sisters, um, and we need a future. The Regional Champions Program, which is administered by the Equity, uh, Diversity and Human Rights uh, uh, Division, was launched in 2008 with the goal of increasing women's participation in municipal government here in Toronto. Each of the 15 members of women members of council take on the role of mentoring to two young women for a year period. I look forward to the day when one of the graduates of our regional champion program is herself a recipient of this award or is the person giving this award. This evening, though, it is my pleasure to introduce the woman that we all thought represented the essence of what Constance E. Hamilton Award was about, and that is Linda Kosovan. Linda Kosowin has dedicated her professional career to the Scarborough Women's Centre as Executive Director. The Scarborough Women's Centre concentrates on stopping the cycle of violence and helping women from all walks of life and personal situations achieve their potential. One of her most successful projects includes working with the TTC Surface Route Study, which resulted in the implementation of recommendations to improve safety for women on public transit, including the Request Stop program and the redesign of bus shelters. Linda. Thank you so much. My mother says that as a little girl, I wanted to help women. I probably didn't really know what that meant, but that's what I said to her. And uh, I do remember how I always used to love to sit with women, adult women, and listen to them talk about their lives. They were so strong and faced so many challenges, and uh, often they weren't aware of how amazing they are. Uh, Betty Friedan might have called this the problem that has no name. Uh, fast forward to 1975, the UN declared the International Year of Women, and I realized that women around the world were experiencing both similar and different challenges, and I began to prepare myself to support women and girls to make brighter futures for themselves and their children. I didn't know exactly what that would look like, uh, but I knew it had a lot to do with freedom from violence and abuse, access to full participation in the community, and opportunities for economic equality and independence. And over the years, I've become to recognize the importance of acknowledging and including many diversities and life realities to achieve women's equality. All the equity-seeking groups uh, represented here tonight are part of this, and we have so much to learn from each other. 
By working together, we can create a stronger, healthier community and world. Uh, I joined the Scarborough Women's Center in 1986, and 27 years later, I can honestly say there's still so much for me to learn. Our focus has been on facilitating the empowerment of women so they can improve their own lives, while working to improve systems they navigate and challenge gender expectations. I've had the opportunity to work with so many wonderful board members, volunteers, staff, funders, donors, and community partners. And my family, my partner, and my friends have been consistently supportive, and many of you are here this evening. Thank you. Um, in fact, my parents, who are now both in their mid-80s, would absolutely have been here if it wasn't for the freezing rain warning up where they live uh, a couple of hours out of town. Um, my brother, his wife, and my partner are here friends from University of Toronto Scarborough, and Centennial College are here, and so many other colleagues and friends from the Women's Center and the rest of my life are here too. Um, it's because of your support that I'm here today. This isn't something that one person does on her own. It's with your support we have made the gains we've made, and it's with your ongoing support <coughs> that we'll continue to work to improve the status of women in Toronto. Thanks. I just want to say that uh, you're a great audience, and I think that, you know, let's, let's see how, let's have a big applause for yourselves, okay? Now, really. <laughs>